Okay, so I'm off to L.A. this weekend. I'm going to the Oscars, and so is former NFL player turned filmmaker Matthew A. Cherry. He used to play for the Jacksonville Jaguars, a lot of other teams, but back in 2012, he predicted that he'd go to the Academy Awards. And we love when people say it's going to happen. They call it into existence. He tweeted, I'm going to be nominated for an Oscar one day, already claiming it. Eight years later, his film, Hair Love, is nominated for Best Animated Short Film. It's the story of a father learning to do his daughter's hair for the first time. Take a look. Now, part all your hair into sections and clip it away. You're doing an amazing job. much fun. I knew you could do it. Oh, my God. The film's writer and director, Matthew A. Cherry, joins us now from our affiliate ABC7 in L.A. Matthew, oh, I watched it again this morning, and I'm telling you, please, click it, watch it. I don't care what background, I don't care what your hair looks like. This is heart. This is about heart and pure love. You got five days until the Oscars. Are you nervous? No, I'm actually not nervous. Um, you know, I actually start a new show uh, tomorrow, Mixed Dish on ABC. Yeah. So I'm gonna be, <laughs> my, my, my yeah. time is gonna be occupied a little bit. I love Matthew drops the resume. Well, I have the Oscars, <laughs> but in the meantime, Tamron Hall, I have a little show called Mixed Dish on there. So the story of hair love, I mean, we have seen over the years a lot of viral videos of dads trying to do their daughter's hair and us celebrating mm -hmm. and the appreciation of the diversity of our hair and what it means. Why were you compelled to put this in an animated form? Yeah, you know, um, a few years ago, like you said, I came across a lot of these viral videos of dads doing their daughter's hair. And, you know, for me, it felt like a great opportunity to shine a spotlight on black fathers who so often get a bad rap in mainstream media when studies have actually shown that they're among the most involved in their kids' lives. Um, it also felt like a good opportunity to showcase a black family in animation. Uh, at the time, in 2017, uh, there hadn't been a lot of representation um, in that medium. Yeah. And then lastly, it just felt like a great opportunity to, to normalize black hair. You know, yeah. um, seems like every week there's a new story of a high school kid or an adult that is not able to work the job that they want to or attend the school that they want to because of what their hair looks like. And that's also why we're excited to uh, hopefully get this conversation about the Crown Act going on a nationwide level. Which is, I mean, this the film is so, the, the animated short is so sweet and the ending, I can't give it away, but I promise you, <laughs> you will have tears for days. What's special also about the night coming up at the Oscars, Deandra Arnold, who's a student who was suspended from high school because of, of his hair, um, he will be there as well. How did that happen? Yeah, you know, I uh, heard about DeAndre's story. Um, you know, he reminded me of myself when I was his age. You know, it's, it's already um, so awkward, you know, when you're a kid um, coming into your own in high school. And on top of that, you know, they want to change the rule three months before he graduates and say that he um, couldn't walk and that he might actually face a suspension. Yeah. And so he ended up changing schools. And, um, you know, when I heard about his story and uh, Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade had heard about his story too. Um, they're also actually producers on the film as well. And I reached out to him and told him that we wanted to do something special for them. And we kind of decided on trying to bring him out to the Oscars would be a great way to, you know, kind of have him take his mind off of yeah. all the craziness that's been happening around his story and uh, just uh, meet, some, meet some celebrities. And I'm sure some celebrities want to meet him too. I would love to meet him too because his story is incredible and he has mm -hmm. become just a very brave face of this ridiculous battle over hair standards that continue.